I'm letting go of the past and I'm finally moving forward. I was just like reminiscing tonight and reflecting on my transition. And when I really started my transition in around 2011, I think that was the catalyst about 2011 is when I first got my first wig and got my first clothes and started to experiment and it's been a long journey <laughs> and the cost has been far more than I first ever could have envisaged of how much it was actually going to cost me personally and me physically and <laughs> everything that I had to go through um I I actually can't believe looking back now in 2011 what I had to face and I've now come out the other side of transition I'm where I want to be I'm how I want to look and it was just like reminiscing really and going like wow I can't believe where I've like you know how I've come from to where I'm going it's been a hell of a ride an absolute hell of a ride and uh I'm here now but yeah so it was a case of like moving on letting go of what's happened in the past the trauma that I've been through to to become who I want to be it's like we've gone through that now let's move forward you know not to forget the past not to forget what's happened or what it's took to become who i want to be but at the same time um it's it was deep you know it was some deep stuff and i i sort of worked through that all mentally tonight and it it was big you know, it was a big thing, you know, particularly like I was on, an, a, on a, a Virgin train, which is now an Avanti train, um, from Birmingham back to uh, Preston. And uh, I looked out the window and videoed it with a little camera and like point and shoot and for a vlog, <laughs> I was vlogging back then. And you know, a, a thought came through my mind while I was looking out the window and I went, wow, you know, a big change is coming in my life. And I didn't realise how much because I knew I was trans. I was working towards being trans and I, I just didn't realise. I just didn't realise how much it was going to change, how much I had to fight to actually become who I wanted to be right now and how easy and how hard it was as well. It was, I sort of like accidentally ended up in this situation, how I am now and like how I make money, you know, but it was a very strange route. And, you know, if I'd known what I'd known, <laughs> I would have just done it a lot sooner. But um, I had to explore as many avenues as I could to know fully um, that my past life, everything that I thought of since I was a, a young teenager, like any, like when I was 14 years old and I'm like 34, almost 35 now. Um, so that life that I thought I had at 14, is not was not the life I was going to lead and that I the life that I I thought I'd love to dream of was actually in a way the life that I was going to be because I was streaming on internet radio stations in 2004 and you know I didn't know that I was going to be a streamer you know in the future i was streaming on the internet audio style back then audio only 
never knew, never knew that this was actually how I was going to be, you know, try to explore normal routes of like making money, but the normal life, go out in the real world and get a real job, you know, turns out the internet was my saviour for my transition to give me, you know, the inspiration that I was trans and that's why I needed to do a pathway to sort of follow the information, the support, and then um, like the financial support that it's given me now. It's like, wow, you know, the internet has given me a lot and uh, real life, the real world has given me nothing but trauma. <laughs> <laughs> Not entirely, you know, but the expected thing that we should do, you know, it didn't happen <laughs> quite that way. So, yeah, it's been a hell of a journey, is what I, and I wanted to share this with you. Um, maybe my story might inspire other people. Hopefully, you guys find this video as well. Um, yeah, it, it's been a hell of a journey. It's been one hell of a journey. But here we are. It's cost a lot. Cost more than I ever, ever thought that it would cost. But I'm here. I'm happy. And I can move forward now. I can move forward with my life and be the person that I feel that I am authentically inside, you know, and I can be happy and be at peace, you know. <laughs> wow. To think what I had to go through to achieve it was very difficult. It, it shouldn't be so difficult and other people get it easy, but I just, I just guess I, I, took it hard, you know, I, I you know, I, I couldn't change anything that happened in the past. Um, I'd probably end up doing the same thing that I've always done. Um, you know, if I relived it again, you know, with prior knowledge, I'd do something differently. But based on the knowledge I had at the time, I'd do the same things again. So, but I'd probably do them a little bit sooner. But hey ho, there you go. This is me, little old me, trans woman me. Finally, the woman that I feel that I am inside. I feel that I need to be. I'm her. I'm her now. And it just feels so good. And I had to deal with that emotionally like tonight it, it felt like closure to become to become me to become the woman that I am today and um, thank you guys for being on the journey with me it's been totally awesome having you on that journey with me I've been so happy to share it I should have shared more of it more of it Hey ho, there you go. <laughs> and it's um it, it's just nice to document this and actually like stick a you know, stick a a flag in the moon <laughs> for the journey that it took. Stick a line in the sand, a flag on the moon, whatever you wanna call it, to mark that point where, you know, I finally accepted myself, finally got into a good position. I, I can finally look around my situation and actually see that I'm in a good position. Because before I thought I was in a bad position, I thought I'd lost so much. But now I realise that actually I've gained a lot more than I've lost and that the life that I was living before was completely unlivable and completely unsustainable. I couldn't live as a man. You know, I couldn't live and work as a man. 
you know, and um, yeah, it's deep emotion and deep emotion for me. It means a lot to me. I guess that's what gives me my story. Everyone's got a story. So um, that's my story. That's my story to share. And I'll go into more details in the future. Give you step by step how it all happened and the chaos and the drama that ensued. But, um, you know, for now, I just want to say that I moved on. I can finally see the situation that I'm in. Finally accept it. Finally letting go of the past and embracing the future. That's what it's all about. So I'm looking to the future now, which is a very good thing. And I got a lot of work to do. I've got a lot of work to do to build my online presence, um, to really put myself out there. And, um, you know, if you build it, they will come, as they say. So hopefully I'll gain that audience. And, uh, yeah, I'm ticking along nicely. Just ticking along nicely at the moment. But hopefully, you know, something like good big is going to happen soon in the future. Like, as in, like, I'm going to blow up, you know, online. and I don't know, you know, generate some money or something to get comfortable with um but i don't know maybe it does maybe it doesn't um the main thing is is that i'm in that position now where i'm ready i can you know focus and look to the future rather than uh looking at what i've lost in the past because it turns out you can't lose something that you could never be you can't lose a life i felt like i'd lost a life you know, I was mourning that past life when actually you can't lose something that you could never have had anyway. It was an unobtainable thing to live life as a man. And it wasn't all that it was cracked up to be. I, I built it up, the life that I was in. I built it up to be something that I don't think it actually was in reality. Um, I was trying to see something there that that didn't exist. Um, and actually, I'm getting like a better deal now than <laughs> I was getting back then. You know, so actually, I'm in a far better situation. I've had to deal with a lot of stuff, but it was worth it. it I just shouldn't have had to have gone through it, but... It was worth it to get to where I am now. Because a lot of truths came to the surface, you know, a lot of a lot of truth came. And you know, the truth can hurt sometimes <laughs> when you realise that something's not right for you and the lifestyle that you live in's no good. Yeah. And now my lifestyle is very, very suited to me. And I'm very happy and content with it. I am. I'm very happy and content with how my life is going. So hopefully nothing bad happens, fingers crossed. And um, the like something good, something really good is going to happen soon. That's what I feel because I've moved on. I can focus on what I need to do to get where I need to be. So that's what we can do now. You know, there's going to be challenges ahead. But... I'm sure I'll figure out ways to overcome them, or at least persevere. So, yeah. And, it, you know, even if I have to plod on the way I'm going and I don't make it, so to speak, um, I know that I'm authentically myself, I'm a woman now, and that I'm happy and I can live that life. I just need to to craftily work out something it's going to get me that that lifestyle that I really want, you know, in the future. So, like, you know, success, fame, success, money, you know. I need to unlock that potential because that's what I need to do now. Time's running out for me, you know. 
like, you know, I'm almost 35. So, you know, if it's going to happen, it's got to happen now. <laughs> you know, I've not got much time left, you know, if to make it happen. You know, that's the thing. So I've got a long life ahead of me, but I've got a short window in which to make that life, you know, really, you know, spread and work out amazing. So thank you for watching this video. Thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for listening to my testimony, the transgender testimony of how to become a woman and the trials and tribulations that it costs. It's getting better. Society's getting better and it's getting easier, but we've still got a fight. We've still got a fight to fight for trans rights. Thank you guys for watching. I love, love, love you all. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for now. Goodbye.